please note that not every prophetic message that I share on this channel is meant for everybody. So it's important that you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit and take it back to him and ask him to give you the confirmation that you need before you run with the message. And for some of you, I know that this is going to be a confirming message because the Lord has already been speaking to you about this. And if that's the case and you have any questions, please make sure to take all those questions back to him because he will have the answers for you. Hi friends, happy Monday. It's Queen Alita. Welcome back to Directional Dreaming. I hope you're having a wonderful start to your week. If you're new to this channel, you are so welcome. So good to have you here. Today, I'm sharing a message from the Lord based on a dream that I had on August 22nd, 2024, which is this year, obviously. So let's jump straight to it. Today, I'm going to share a little bit of the dream. As you guys know, I don't share the full dreams anymore. And sometimes I share a little bit. Today's one of those days. Now, before I get into sharing the dream, I just want to start off by just giving you guys what the Lord was showing me through this dream. Um, there is a plot by the enemy to try and trap you, but this is not going to be um, any ordinary trap. It has to do with a direction that you're probably thinking of going. Um, this direction is it seems good it seems right um there's nothing wrong with what you're doing or what you're planning to do um in that it's 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 not anything that's evil or bad or unlawful or whatever the case might be but because of who's tied to this thing because of um it, it's i don't know if it, there's a partnership that is going to be born out of this or uh, could potentially be born out of this but there is going to be some interaction there's supposed to be some interaction with somebody that is not of the lord okay it's almost like um i think for some of you it'll be almost like planting seeds on just on in the wrong ground there's something about this plan that's not going to work and i just got a sense of the law saying don't go down that road because there is a huge huge trap this trap is going to suck you down it's going to pull you down and you're really going to be stuck it's it's really really bad and this is a warning from the lord so i will share a little bit of the dream for you um so in the dream, I remember just driving towards this place and we were going to go and give somebody something. I had two of my sisters with me. Well, I only have two sisters. I had them with me in the dream and we were going to uh, deliver something to somebody. This person is somebody who is not for us in waking life, does not like us at all. Okay. So, um, but in the dream, it's like we, we were, it's almost as if we're pursuing relationship with them because they do give this facade of liking us but we know they don't. So um, I remember turning and as we turned into the street, the, the entire street, the road was just dug up. It was a mess. It was like nothing I'd ever seen before. And there was this liquid um, stuff. It was, there was a huge um, area where it was just liquid and it felt like the liquid was everywhere, even though some parts had like a lot of rubble and tar. Um, but that liquid was, was under all of it. And there were parts where you could actually see the liquid. And I remember seeing my dad, he came up out of nowhere and he said, you could take this road, but the chances of you making it through are very, very slim. You will get stuck in this, um, in this liquid. And I realized, as you were saying that, that this was cement, that once it's solidified, we would be stuck. Okay. We all know how cement does, right? So I was like, man, I started to think of another way of going and ended up not going at all. So that's a little bit of the dream that I felt led to share. And really, like I said, this is a warning from the Lord, because in this dream, I believe that my dad represents the Lord. He gave us sound advice. He was showing us that, hey, I'm warning you, if you go down this road, um, you could try it. Just like God always gives us free will, you can do it. You can go ahead and do it. But I'm letting you know now that you are going to be stuck. So whatever it is that you're planning to do, planning to get involved in, there is it's like a trap from the enemy. He's trying to get you stuck because the way you are moving right now is very, um, you're moving in the right direction. You have things together and, um, it's like, don't go down that road and don't lead others down that road. Don't lead others astray. Cause in the dream, I was the one who was driving and, um, I was the one who was uh, it's almost as if like my dad in the dream was speaking specifically to me, not even to my sisters. So I got the sense that I was leading them. So 
this decision could lead others astray, could lead others into a trap. So it's not only about you, it's about those that you are leading in some capacity. Um, and the Lord wants you to know that even though, fine, let's say you take this road, <laughs> you are going to be stuck. And of course, the Lord can get you out of that. But I just got the sense of the cement, just I got the sense of it taking a long time to get out of the cement. So um, this could really significantly delay you in terms of timing of how God wants to lead you. So, um, yeah, take this as a, a very strong warning from the Lord. This dream was very, um, it was potent, if I can use that word. And um, there was a way of escape. We didn't have to go down that road. We did not have to go and interact with this person that we we're going to interact. I believe in the dream we were bringing them something. We wanted to deliver something. I don't know if it was a gift. But the point is, um, it's like you are going out of your way to try and make things work with somebody who is just not for you. Um, somebody who would readily do witchcraft against you. And um, even just you reaching out to them, even you just trying to be in relationship with them, um, that is where the trap lies. They already have set a trap for you. They do not like you. <laughs> it's that simple and it's unfortunate, but they don't. And this trap has been set out to cause you to be stagnant. They are not happy with the fact that your life is moving forward, that you are doing things, that... Um, yeah, you're progressing and uh, you may have a good heart and think, but you know, I want to reach out. This person is, is, a, is a friend or a family member, whatever capacity they may have in your life, whatever role they have in your life, that doesn't matter. At the end of the day, their heart towards you is not pure. There's evil at play in them and the Lord does not want you to partake in that. He's trying to help you to understand that you don't have to, it's, it's not for you to try and make that relationship work or to try and win them over or try and um what's i get the sense that some of you really want to be in their good books because you know that they, they they've been gunning for you for a long time like they've been after you to see your destruction and you're thinking maybe if i'm nice to them maybe if i reach out and have a relationship with them maybe they'll see that you know i really care and I, i'm not a threat or whatever the case might be doesn't matter what your motive may be, your heart may be in the right place, what you're doing may be a good thing, but it is not a good thing for you. The Lord wants you to know if you go down that road, you are going to fall for a horrible trap that is going to keep you stuck for a long time and um, you'll have to, you are going to be delayed in moving forward. So just heed the warning of the Lord and take, and don't even go there. Don't even go there. I know in the dream I was thinking, let's find a different way. And that actually, I feel led to share another piece of the dream. When I was thinking, let's go another way to get to this person. There was a drum, like just as we started walking, um, a huge like uh, drum type of structure. It was really large. Um, a drum is smaller than what I'm, I'm describing. And I remember bumping into it because we're going that way. And that cement kind of came onto my legs. And luckily, there was suddenly a a jug or a pitcher of water in my hands and I you know washed it off but the point is when I had it in my mind to continue to keep going to see if we can find another way um that happened and in the dream eventually we abandoned that whole mission and decided this is not good <laughs> we we shouldn't go and um that's when suddenly it felt like in the dream like that whole situation where I had bumped into that drum had not happened it felt like the whole thing was like almost like a figment of my imagination in the dream because I decided not to go anymore. So it's important that you are just in line with where God wants you to be, what he wants you to be doing. He's not going to force you to do anything. Like um, it's just like in the dream when my dad was saying, you can take this road if you want, but this is what's going to happen. So um, it's up to you to be obedient or to go down that way and cause yourself delays. Um, the scripture that the Lord gave me today is in Exodus 34 verse 12. It says here, be very careful never to make a treaty with the people who live in the land where you are going. If you do, you will follow their evil ways and be trapped. Like that verse says it all. 
by coming into relationship with that person that you are trying to um, appease or trying to have a good relationship with, even though you know or may not know that they're not for you, you are almost like coming into some kind of a treaty with them, like spiritually, you're coming into agreement, you're planting seeds on ground that the Lord has not sent you to plant seeds on. And if you do, um, there's a chance that it says here you will follow their evil ways it's almost like they're going to influence you um in some way and i think in this dream it shows in the form of that trap you're going to be trapped and i don't know what that trap looks like um it, it could be you falling for these evil ways i don't know but the point is do not go down that road that's the important part of the message yeah, and um, that's the message for today. I really pray that it's blessed you if it's for you. And of course, if you've made it this far into the video, please consider buying my new book, Exploring Dreams from a Biblical Perspective. It's my first book. I'd really love the support, guys. It will help this ministry grow, help me to fund certain aspects of this ministry. Um, yeah, I'll put the links in the description and also I will try and remember to pin a comment with the details for you to be able to purchase a copy for yourself or as a gift for somebody else. Okay. So otherwise I'll see you in the next video. Always remember that God is a good father. He loves you so much because you, my friends are so deeply special to him.